All right, so this knife here on the screen is probably the most desirable knife in the whole of CSGO, right? This is the most talked about knife. It's the 1.5 million, 2 million, who knows how many million dollar knife. So I was thinking most normal people can't even afford like a tier two blue gym, maybe tier three. That's not even close to being this good as the one on the screen. So yesterday I was watching Zippo and one moment of his stream kind of stuck into my mind. And it's this one right here where he was scrolling through all his knives to try to find a knife and this happened. Look, look at this dude, blue gym. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, dude. He actually got me. I was like, oh shit, I got a full, I got a, like a full blue one. <laughs> I saw it here and I was like, oh shit. Huh? So yeah, I mean, when you're looking at with a blind eye, you're not really paying attention to this page here. And if you just scroll, this does look like a blue gem, right? It kind of does. Obviously, it's not as bright as this one, which is pretty obvious, but it does kind of look like that. So I was thinking, what if you play around with like the settings, the saturation, and you just get yourself a blue steel and you make it look like into a case hard and a least close to that and make it look nice i have people very often come into my stream and ask what is like a good budget knife for 100 to 200 dollars and i usually don't really have an answer because you know it's your own taste you gotta pick your own knife i can't really pick it for you but now that i think about it, it's really the blue gem you know or i mean the blue steel i might mix this up a bit but yeah it's really the the blue steel because look at the prices for novaja knife it's like it's probably the cheapest knife you can get in the game overall yeah the prices are amazing look for gut knife that's good as well and obviously probably the best one from all of these is uh maybe a Falchion knife is pretty good too. But for example, Huntsman Blue Steel, 110 euros on Steam, probably on Buff or other marketplaces, it might be around like 80 or around that price mark. And that's a good price for a knife, you know, for an entry level knife, that's a very good price. And the best part about these knives is that there is a pattern finish and obviously the float changes a lot of things as well. So this knife right here, this is around 0.55 float blue steel. And as you can see, it's quite dark and you can see a bit of the blue. So now let's increase the screen saturation, which most people can do on their computers obviously right so this is what happens when you increase your saturation okay this might look very crazy right now to you this might look very crazy but from what i found out instead of the knife turning into a blue gem it kind of turns into like an interesting uh, doppler phase it kind of looks like a black pearl a bit even obviously the game looks completely fucked okay so you can't go too high with this saturation stuff but uh you can definitely play around with this stuff like look at that that is insane it looks so purple and that is for a battle scout version this one right here is a factory new version or it would be close to like minimal wear as well here you can see a bit of the blue coming out it's actually quite quite nice as well let's look in the sun when you look in the sun it actually looks a bit like a blue gem okay so you understood the point right let me turn down the saturation before i ruin your eyes but the best part about these factory new blue steels is that they have a pattern right there's a chance where you get like a full blue one ish and there's also a chance of you getting like a full green one so this is the pattern template right here right i don't personally know much about these uh, pattern indexes which ones are the best ones but uh, this is the template you can see there's some purple there's some uh, reddish pink ish and there's a lot of this uh, yellow green stuff right but here for example there's some screenshots this is what i was talking about the green one this is probably the best green you can get here i think it looks very very clean if you match it with some nice gloves as well and so you can see the differences between the the types you can get so this one was very green and this one right here is like back to blue slash kind of purple ish right and for this knife right here the backside is kind of green ish but i can also show you how it looks completely battle scarred like pretty much as battle scarred as you can get it does look pretty bad this is is probably not the best version you can get so if you do get a battle scarred one try to look for a pretty decent float because these ones are not that nice and the reason for that is they don't even shine that much in the sun but yeah i don't know if you're ever looking for a knife for a budget knife i think blue steel is the way to go obviously the other options you would go for for like a shiny knife is damascus steel but i don't think damascus steel is uh, nowhere near as cool as this one let me know in the comments you like it you hate it i personally think it's very underrated and if you're ever looking for a budget knife this is definitely way to go.